Hey, 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 hey. All right. Happy Sunday, Earth Angels. I pray that uh, anyone who happens to see this today, who happens to be under the sound of my voice, is just having a delicious Sunday, that you are surrounded by people who truly love and appreciate you, and that you are doing exactly what you desire to do this day. Uh, welcome to this episode of Shakespeare with Brother Gill, Exercise in My Voice Therapy. Uh, glory to God, I am now in my 11th month of recovery from stroke. And as of this November 1st, it will be one year, glory to God, that I have uh, been healing and rejoicing. And so I use this exercise, uh, Shakespeare's sonnets, because they're so well written and so concise and so scripted with so many different emotional movements and visions and picture painting and the ideas uh, written therein, that it just allows me to focus my mind and my ears and my inner voice a certain way. And so I love using them to exercise my voice in diction, to work my voice cavity, my mouth ah, ah, cavity, so that the elasticity of my jaw, uh, even though I'm blessed that I was not severely twisted, my face was uh, affected by my event of stroke. And I, I thank God that I'm still able to utilize uh, uh, these exercises to regain strength and focus and clarity in my understanding of what I'm saying, because we all know that clear thought makes for clear speech. And although I'm still having my teeth repaired, uh, it's a great way <laughs> of exercising the voice because our teeth are very, very important to uh, enunciating and pronouncing certain words and using the, the tongue and the voice mechanism to speak uh, clearly, particularly as a creative, as an actor which I am. Um, and so it's been a great joy utilizing all that I have in spite of the challenges, teeth, twisting of the facial muscles and uh, th those kind of things as a result of having had my event of stroke. Uh, but I am truly blessed. I give God the glory and the honor that I am sitting here now in a regular chair, glory to God, feeling as wonderful as I do, looking like myself again in my face. And so I hope you enjoy this exercise. Hopefully it can encourage someone who is recovering from an event of stroke or anything physical that has restricted or challenged you in terms of your speaking in terms of your uh, maintaining clear thought uh, passages and uh, being able to clearly articulate what you are saying. I hope I, need, I can encourage you to keep going, to go beyond those comfort zones. It's all relative to our being the champions of our own healing. So I will be using Sonnet Number 105. Uh, let me find it here. I think I went past it. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so it's on my phone so that I'm going to be reading. It's a cold reading. I like to do this cold. 
Uh, okay, come on, Gil. Come on. That's good. Okay. Um, so, Sonnet 105. And it reads, Let not my love be called idolatry, nor my beloved as an idol show. Since all alike my songs and praises be to one of one still such and ever so. Kind is my love today, tomorrow kind still constant in a wondrous excellence. Therefore my verse to constancy confined Oh, sorry, I went past. I'm trying to use my phone and I'm using one hand here. Oh, shoot. Come on, Gil. What did I just do? Okay, I've lost it. I've got to go back and get it. So, got it. Okay, come on. Let's go find it. Sonnet. Bear with me, guys. Sonnet 105. Okay. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's do this again. Expand. Okay. Oh, Lord. Now the air is going to keep going. I'm telling you, the house is as quiet as a mouse until I start trying to do something. <laughs> you know, line it has just become a noise factory. Anyway, Shakespeare 105. It reads, let not my love be called adultery, nor my beloved as an idol show, since all alike my songs and praises be to one of one still such, and evermore so. Kind is my love today, tomorrow kind, still constant in a wondrous excellence. Therefore, my verse to constancy confined. One thing expressing leaves out difference. Fair, kind, and true is all my argument. Fair, kind, and true, varying to other words, and in this change is my invention spent Three themes in one, which wondrous scope affords. Fair, kind, and true have often lived alone, which three till now never kept seat in one. Okay, let me do that again. I like this one. I really do. Sonnet 105, let not my love be called adultery. Let not my love be called adultery, nor my beloved as an idol show, since all alike my songs and praises be to one of one still such and ever so. Kind is my love today, tomorrow kind, still constant and a wondrous excellence. Therefore my verse to constancy defined, to constancy confined, one thing expressing leaves out difference. Fair, kind, and true is all my argument. Fair, kind, and true, varying to other words, and in this change is my invention spent. Three things in one, which wondrous scope affords. Fair, kind, and true have often lived alone which three till now 
never kept seat in one. <laughs> I like it a little too. Well, let me do it one more time. Mm. <laughs> let not my love be called adultery, nor my beloved as an idol be. No, that's wrong. Let not my love be called adultery, nor my beloved as an idol show, since all alike my songs and praises be to one of one still such and ever so. Kind is my love today, tomorrow kind, still constant and a wondrous excellence. Therefore my verse to constancy confined, one thing expressing leaves out difference. Fair, kind, and true is all my argument. Fair, kind, and true varying to other words, and in this change is my invention spent. Three themes in one, which wondrous scope affords. Fair, kind, and true have often lived alone, which three till now never kept seat in one. Okay. All right, just a quick exercise in listening, allowing myself to hear, and uh, organically try to interpret what is being said in this particular sonnet. Uh, so thank you all for bearing with me and allowing me to uh, do this today. I appreciate the efforts. I appreciate those who stop by. Uh, I am creation stroke survivor. Support group Dallas on Facebook. Please stop by. Hit the thumbs up. Become a member. It costs you nothing, but you do have to uh, sign up. You have. It's my way of keeping trying my best to keep people's information private. Uh, but it is a growing, loving support group for anyone who would like uh, to become a part of it. Uh, it is focused, I pray, in a special way to always, always love on each other and love on ourselves and encourage each other and be encouraged in our own spirit because we are healing in so many different ways in our communities. And so all I can do to help encourage and inspire others to be the champion of your own healing while using all the doctors and the PTs and the OTs uh, to help facilitate our healing, but we must be the champions of our own healing, okay? All right, Brother Gil, love you. God love you too. Have a delicious rest of your Sunday. And again, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Shakespeare with Brother Gill. Peace and much love. Au revoir. <laughs> See y'all next time. Bye-bye.